Now, if the night draws your gaze upwards on the 7th and the 8th of September, what you say may, see may leave you an imprint that you can carry for years to come. As Earth's shadow stretches across the sky, the moon will begin to fade from its familiar pale silver into shades of grey before slowly turning red. It is the 82-minute phenomenon, a transformation that is known through centuries as the blood moon. Now, this rare total lunar eclipse will be visible to billions across Asia, Australia, Africa and Europe. And the scientists are calling this event a total lunar eclipse. It happens when the Earth aligns perfectly between the sun and the moon, casting its shadow upon the lunar surface. So, as the shadow grows deeper, the phase known as totality begins. This is when the moon is fully inside the darkest path of the Earth's shadow called the umbra. For more than an hour, the moon glows in the different shades of red. But beyond the signs, eclipses have always carried stories of destiny and mystery. And this one is no exception. The date, that is the 7th of September, connects them with the number 7 in numerology, a number that is often linked to introspection, spiritual growth and the search for wisdom. Astrologers also see eclipses as powerful moments, often described as cosmic turning points that stir hidden energies. And reports suggest that under such a sky, many may feel that it is the right moment to release the burdens that they have long carried. Now, some may find themselves seeing life with new clarity, while others might sense the need to prepare for an unexpected change. Now, across many traditions, an eclipse is viewed as a doorway between phases of life, a symbolic moment where one chapter closes and another begins. In astrology, being born during an eclipse is considered pretty rare and often linked with heightened significance. And what is interesting is this. Donald Trump, the American president, was born on the 14th of June in 1946 under the shadow of a total lunar eclipse. Astrologers have long noted that such births echo some dramatic public journey and enduring presence.